Welcome to America. I'm Jorge Ramos. In democracy, you always have a choice. If you don't want to vote for Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump this November, you can choose the Libertarian Party. Maybe you haven't heard of their candidates, but you should. If they can reach 15% of support in the polls, they'll be in the debates, and that's a game changer. So let's get to know them. Governor Gary Johnson is running for president, and Governor William Well for vice president. Both of us join us via satellite. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Jorge. Right. Great being with you. Thank you so much, uh, Governor Johnson. Let me start with you. Why should people vote for you and not for Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump? Why you? Well, uh, look, uh, I think that Hillary is going to uh, be about bigger government. Government has the solution to everything, and that means higher taxes, and that's money out of your and my pocket that we could be spending on our lives uh, as opposed to government knows best. And uh, Hillary, I think she's been the architect of our foreign policy, which uh, has made the world less safe, not more safe. And starting with Donald Trump, look, uh, deporting 11 million undocumented workers, uh, that's just crazy. That's uh, misinformation, building a fence across the, bo oh, the border, that's just crazy. Uh, that murders and rapists are coming across the border when statistically uh, these are really hardworking uh, people that uh, commit less crime than U.S. citizens. They're not taking jobs that U.S. citizens want. Uh, he's going to bring back waterboarding. He's for free market, but he wants to force Apple to make their iPads and their iPhones in the United States. On and on and on. Big differences. I think he's an isolationist uh, extreme that we need to be leading the world with uh, free trade. That's how we're going to bring peace to the world. Yeah. Governor, well, let, let me ask you, where are your votes going to be coming from? I just saw a poll from NBC and, and the Wall Street Journal, and they suggest that you might be taking votes away more from Hillary Clinton than from Donald Trump. Where's your support coming from? Well, um, I don't see it quite that way, Jorge. Mm -hmm. I, I think uh, Gary and I were both two-term Republican governors. We have uh, 20 years executive experience between the two of us, eight years for Gary for his two terms in New Mexico. I had six and a half years as governor in uh, Massachusetts and six and a half years as a senior uh, prosecutor in the Justice Department. That's a lot of executive experience. Uh, that is something that Mr. Trump obviously uh, does not have uh, and uh, is not accustomed to making the kind of decisions he would have to make mm -hmm. as president of the United States. Uh, I think, um, as Governor Johnson pointed out, a number of Mr. Trump's uh, policy prescriptions are disastrous. Uh, they not only wouldn't work uh, in practice, it's almost an insult that he raises them. Uh, Governor Johnson, in, in the last election, you got um, about 1 percent of the vote. In 2012. What makes you think that this time is going to be different? What has changed? Jorge, in 2012, my name was not in any of these polls. Uh, right now, along with Bill Weld, uh, our name is appearing in these polls, mm -hmm. and I think that has a self-fulfilling prophecy. People are checking out um, our resumes and uh, recognizing that, uh, hey, this really is a viable alternative. And at 10 percent, you get noticed. Uh, right now, the polls, though, are uh, polling Hillary and Trump. And uh, then, as an afterthought, they'll add our names to that. Uh, when they add the name, it's showing up at 10 percent. I think that uh, right now they should uh, be polling three names and that those three names should be made prominent. And I'm confident we'll be at 15 percent if they would just uh, start to do that, as opposed to being an afterthought. Uh, Governor, well, let me ask you about immigration policy. In the past, you've compared Trump's immigration policy uh, to Nazi Germany. Don't you think that's a little dramatic? Rounding up 11 million people, that's a big number of people whose papers are not in order and whose uh, offense was that they wanted to uh, come to the United States to take work that no Americans were lining up to apply for those jobs so they could send some money home uh, to their family and they pay their taxes. And as Governor Johnson often points out, uh, the crime rate among uh, people coming across the border to work is much lower than that for the population uh, as a whole. We should be uh, we should be grateful to people who fill out uh, the needs of our uh, labor force. So I, I think uh, Mr. Trump's uh, uh, you know, immigration policy, I, I hesitate even to call it a policy, is the opposite of what's 
called for, and I think it would be a stain on the United States. So, uh, Governor Johnson, do you think that here in the United States something similar could happen as what we saw in the United Kingdom? Uh, that same day, the Supreme Court decided not to decide on four million immigrants in this country. And that same day, the United Kingdom decided just to get away from the European Union. Do you think that that same anti-immigrant sentiment might be present here on November the 8th? I don't see uh, Britain's exit from uh, from uh, the European Union as being isolationist. I really see it as them uh, uh, s uh, staking out their own opportunity. Yeah. I really think that can a can anybody tell you what the uh, European Union does other than to um, employ a whole lot of people and uh, a whole a gigantic bureaucracy that sets rules and regulations? So you're supporting Brexit, no? No, no. I, I think uh, Britain made a choice. Uh, I think that uh, staking out your own claim. I don't. I do not see their choice, though, as being uh, isolationist. I, I don't see that. I see it as an economic, uh, as untying themselves economically from the crony capitalism of uh, of the European Union. Uh, two more questions, uh, Governor. Well, how were you chosen as a vice presidential candidate? It's it's not very clear to me how how that process worked. Well, uh, Governor, Governor Johnson and I served together as governors in the 1990s, and uh, we got along very well. Both of us are uh, fiscal conservatives. We were rated the two most fiscally conservative, responsible governors in the United States back in the 1990s, and we're both uh, social libertarians. We're, we're for uh, freedom and liberty where personal choices are made. So we have exactly the same platform. And it's not uh, the platform of either of the other two parties. So Governor J uh, Johnson asked me if I would like to join him. And I said, absolutely, Gary. It would be yeah. my honor and privilege. And one final question, Governor Johnson. What's a libertarian? What's a libertarian? Yeah. Well, I think Bill laid it out right there. And uh, let me give some kudos back to Bill. Bill is, was my political role model. I wanted to grow up to be like Bill Weld. So having Bill as my running mate, beyond my wildest dreams, uh, Jorge, but uh, libertarian, fiscally conservative. Look, when it comes to your social preference, whether you're, whether you're liberal or whether you're conservative, we don't care, just as long as you don't force it on... Uh, force it on anyone else. Uh, so allowing people to make their own choices in their own lives. And when it comes to our military interventions, look, uh, peace throughout the world, uh, that comes with free trade and that comes uh, uh, by not getting involved in other countries' affairs. That's not isolationist. That's non-interventionist. Our military uh, actions in other countries have resulted uh, with the unintended consequence of making things worse, less safe, not more safe. Mm -hmm. uh, Governor Johnson, Governor Well, thanks so much for talking to us, and I hope to see you in person very soon. Thank you. Well, Jorge. look forward to that, Jorge. Thank you. Thank you both.